I think that's the uh, Alain mentioned uh, something uh, um, uh, before about IPv4, IPv6. When we uh, speak about uh, potential risk for the next future, um, I, I will make a, a, a comment here. It's, uh, it, it is difficult to, to, to speak about the long-term uh, challenges in, in, on the internet. I think that's uh, if the title would be would have been uh, challenges for the short, short term or mid term, probably we would be speaking about the same things. So, uh, so uh, uh, the the challenges that uh, obviously the the transition to IPv4 uh, from IPv4 to IPv6 uh, is is one of the of the big challenges that we are facing. Um, I think that's the. Uh, while this is uh, obviously a risk in terms of stability uh, of the internet, uh, it is also important to say that uh, there's many people that is working around this issue to to provide the the, the, the best uh, situation, the best uh, transition, uh, the best possible transition. Uh, I think that's the the question is if there will be problems in in the in this transition from IPv4 to IPv6. And the answer is yes. As, as the introduction of any other technological component, uh, the, the introduction of IPv6 uh, will uh, produce the need of refinements of the technology and um, a lot of adjustment. But the, the, if the question is, uh, will it impact in some way uh, to internet users? The answer is, uh, I don't think so. So the, the good thing is that the, the problems uh, will be perceived, uh, in my view, for those that should perceive the problems, the people involved in ITF, in the operator groups, and uh, in other technical communities that will deal with the problems in the, in, the, in, the sense, in the way that the problems will appear. So I think that's the... the it is uh, potentially a risk. Uh, it will create problems, but the problems uh, will be solved in the, with the tools that we are managing today and the mechanisms that uh, we have uh, currently that are working on this issue.